everyone and welcome to week three of the Taylor Swift playlist-a-thon vlogs. If you guys don't know, this is a readathon I'm hosting along with my friends Lisa and Casey that is themed around Taylor Swift and her music and I will leave the announcement video either linked up above or down below <laughs> and I'll also link my past vlogs if you guys want to check those out but yeah, so it is the third week now, which means the readathon is already halfway over, which is... I can't believe it, but... Um, yep. <laughs> so that's kind of crazy, but I completely forgot to end last week's vlog, so I will catch you guys up on what I've been doing since then. So today is Sunday, and I think my last clip from la last week's vlog was Wednesday, maybe? So it's been a few days since I have vlogged at all. Um, so the main thing that happened is that I finished Loveless. I finished this two days ago, I think. That sounds right, two days ago. And um, as you can see, I tabbed it a lot. I really, really loved this book. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous to say this because I didn't give it a bad rating. I gave it 4.5 stars, which is an amazing rating because it's an amazing book. But I think I was just expecting to give it five stars because I've heard so many amazing things about it and I thought it would really resonate with me and it did, but I found that I was just wanting more from it. Like, I don't know really how to explain it, but like I thought it was written really well, I thought the characters were great, and I really loved Georgia as a character, and I loved uh, the exploration in Georgia's sexuality and figuring out that she was asexual and aromantic, but for some reason, like, there was just something missing and I couldn't really pinpoint what, so I couldn't quite give it five stars, which I'm kind of disappointed about because I really thought this was gonna be like a new all-time favorite book and it just wasn't like it's still amazing and I still love it but it just didn't quite meet my expectations so I'm a little disappointed but I mean 4.5 stars is, is still great so I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I feel so weird about it but yeah so I would highly recommend this I think it did portray asexuality really well so if you are someone who is not ace and looking to read books with ace characters then I would highly recommend this book and also I want to see more ace characters especially main characters in books because this was the first one I've read that actually explored an ace character's identity and I have read a couple other books with characters who identify as ace but I would love to read more so hopefully I can find more and that will be something that becomes more popular in um, books and stuff. But yeah, so I finished Loveless. What else have I done? <laughs> okay, actually, so I think Thursday, the main reason I didn't end the vlog on Thursday last week was because I spent the entire day editing my secret TBR video, which is now out, and I'm very happy that it's done, but it took forever to edit mainly because I just have a lot of footage and it ended up being a really long video but also I ran into a lot of technical problems while editing it and I was so frustrated <laughs> and I just wanted it to be done and I really didn't want to wait like I didn't want to wait another day to edit it I just wanted to get it all done on Thursday so that it could just be done and I wouldn't have to think about it anymore so there was a lot of I just had a lot of problems editing it and there was a lot of things I had to redo and it was just so annoying. <laughs> and then um, exporting it and uploading it took forever because it was so long and the Wi-Fi in my room is really bad so I have to, like whenever I edit and export videos and stuff, well I mean editing like I'm using iMovie so I don't need Wi-Fi but to upload it I need Wi-Fi and so I can't do that in my room because the Wi-Fi is really bad so it would take like double the amount of time to upload so I had to stay in my living room and um, I ended up finishing it like it ended up finally being scheduled at I think 11:30 at night and I was so tired because I spent literally all day editing it and my like I was so tired from just staring at a screen all day and like I was just kind of in a cranky mood because I just wanted to go to bed but I couldn't even go to my room 
because I needed to wait for it to finish. But anyway, so that was Thursday. And then the video came out on Friday and it's been doing pretty well and I'm really happy with it and I'm really proud of it and it was definitely worth all that time editing, but yeah, so that's good. Oh yeah, so yesterday I did a live show with Lisa and Casey. We were all there this time, everyone was feeling well and it was really fun. We had a decent amount of people show up and we just talked about literally everything and it was just a lot of fun and it was like the first time the three of us got to spoke to each other like face to face kind of um, instead of just in our group chat so that was really fun and I love them and we ended up speaking for like three and a half hours I think so that was really nice. So today I was editing the week two vlog and that's the main thing I did today. I also um, Lainey Taylor, I'm one of her patrons on Patreon, and she did a live show today, and so that was really fun to watch because I love her, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now you're all caught up, but now it is... It's like 7 o'clock right now, so I think tonight I'm just gonna maybe play a bit of Animal Crossing and then read, but I did start a new book yesterday. I'm not super far into it because I only read it during our sprints yesterday, but I did start... The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. <laughs> Everyone makes fun of me for how I say it. Addie LaRue. I did start this yesterday by V. v. Schwab. I should clarify that, but um, I'm only like, how far am I? 40 pages, something like that. I am 44 pages into this, so not very far. But I already love this. <laughs> the writing is just so beautiful and I think I'm just going to be obsessed with this. So I would really like to read a lot tonight because I think it's what she deserves. So that's my plan. I've been in a really weird mood today. I think it's just a mixture of a lot of things. Um, I mean, first of all, there's a full moon tomorrow, so that's not good. But <laughs> um, also, I'm probably getting my period this week, so that probably has something to do with it and just you know finals are coming up and I'm just very stressed about school because I don't know what's going on <laughs> because I'm extremely unmotivated this semester because there's a pandemic going on and I haven't left my house in a long time and yeah so that has to do with it I think it's also just general anxiety and stuff <sighs> so there's a lot going on I'm feeling kind of down today but I'm gonna make myself some hot chalky and hopefully feel better and just have a hopefully <laughs> a relaxing night tonight um, and then and get some reading done and so that's it. I don't know if I said anything of interest in this clip but this is what you're gonna get. Also I would like to point out that you might have noticed that I just wear my Taylor Swift cardigan literally all the time and you might be thinking I'm sure it's not all the time, like, I'm sure she takes it off sometimes. I literally don't. <laughs> I do wear this all the time. I mean, not literally all the time, like, I don't sleep with it on, but, I mean, I love it. I love wearing it. It makes me happy, so I wear it all the time, and nobody can judge me for it, so, yeah. So, that's all for now. Did I say anything? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. I'll talk to you guys again at some point. Okay, bye! bye. December basically I should probably take down my like pumpkins and fall leaf decorations and I have these like star lights I don't know if you can see them but um, so I'm going to take these down and put up these lights and I figured I would film myself doing that so enjoy <laughs>
I don't know how well you could see, but I can't, these lights are not as long as the fall lights I just had. And I kind of like the look of them going over my books, but then they kind of end too short over here. You can't see anything. Um, so, I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> pretty short but I think it looks okay I think it'll show up in my videos so I'm gonna film my December TBR now and I'll check in another time <laughs> hello it's me <laughs> apparently I'm Adele um, but it's a bit later now I did put up my lights as you saw and then I filmed a video and I actually just finished a book. I finally finished reading The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Wow, this cover is really orange. My curtains, which are right in front of me, are very orange. And it's not really helping <laughs> this cover. But anyway, so I finally finished this book. Um, I mentioned it in a few videos that I had to read this for school. And it took me forever because I just did not want to read it um, and it's really short too like it's 360 pages or something but I don't know I wasn't really into it so it just took me forever to read but it's finally done so that's good I gave it three stars it was fine I don't know it was fine <laughs> um, but I figured I would t tell you guys what prompts that it counts for and I realized that I never um, mentioned what prompts Loveless counted for so I thought I would do that first I think it only counted for four prompts. Let me find it. I have so many things in my notes app for video ideas right now. So I'm always all over the place. So the first one was for Breathe, which is to read a book featuring a female, female romance. New Romantics is to read a book with Ace Rep. It's pretty obvious. Don't blame me, read a book you can't believe you haven't read yet. It took me a long time to read Loveless. I honestly thought I would read it as soon as I got it, but I didn't because I was scared so I had to count for that and it's nice to have a friend which is to buddy read a book and I buddy read it with one of my friends so that's what Loveless counted for so now let's see what The Hobbit can count for read a classic I think The Hobbit counts as a classic right that's for love story by the way I'm gonna have a count so for Dear John the prompt is to read a book by someone named John. I don't even know what um, the J in J.R.R. Tolkien stands for, so I'm gonna look it up. Is it John? I have no idea. Oh my god, this is in my way. J.R.R. Tolkien. It is! Oh my god! <laughs> so I can count it for Dear John. That's funny, honestly. Did I already have read a book by a non-human main character? No, I didn't. So, read a book um, what is it? Did I say read a book by a non-human? <laughs> read a book with a non-human main character for Death by a Thousand Cuts. I mean, a hobbit is not human, right? So, there you go. With gold on the cover. I would say this counts, right? The writing, I don't know if you can see that. But the writing, I think, is definitely gold. Can you tell? You can't tell. But I think it counts. So for daylight... Wait, did I already put that? Maybe I did. <laughs> I don't remember what I put already. No, I didn't. So daylight, read a book with gold on the cover. No, 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 no. Okay, so I think that's it. So I added four more songs. I don't know what I'm up to now, but I have a lot of songs, which is great. Um, but yeah, so... I think that's all I'm gonna say for now. Um, I didn't end up reading that much more of Addie last night. 
I think I got to page like 80 or something. I'm still loving it. I'm loving the writing. I just got really tired, <laughs> so I went to bed. Um, but yeah, I am planning on reading more tonight. It's now like 8 o'clock, I think, so I'll probably read a bit. I've been very stressed <laughs> about school. Who did that? I don't know. I'm never popular, I promise. That's probably... <laughs> I don't know if you can hear all that. Anyways. Yeah, I've been really stressed. My semester is coming to an end, which is very good, but I have a lot of things to do and I'm just very stressed about it. I mean, I know this is normal, but this semester feels different than any other semester for obvious reasons, so I don't know. I'm just very stressed and yeah. But anyways, um... The reason I said that is because I've been extra tired lately because of all the stress. I have no idea. It's probably my group for my project. It's not like, I'm not popular, I promise. <laughs> but anyways, so we'll see how late I can stay up. I also have to wake up early for a class tomorrow, so I can't stay up that late to read, but I would like to read a decent amount of Addie tonight. That would be nice, because I am really loving it. The writing is just so beautiful. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I like... I have a feeling I'm going to really, really love this book because I already love it. So anyway, so that's it for now. Um, I have a feeling I'm not going to update tomorrow because tomorrow I'd like to edit a video, well, the one I filmed today, and I have a meeting with my group that is probably texting me right now um, <laughs> um, to edit our project because it's due on Thursday and we need to finish it, so... I have a feeling it's going to be a long day of editing tomorrow, both my video and our project. <laughs> so, I don't think there's going to be a lot of reading tomorrow, which will... Mm, it's sad, but... Anyways, I'll update again at some point, and... Yeah, okay. Bye! <laughs>
I'm gonna take it a bit easy today because that was really tiring. Um, we did get a lot of work done though, so that's good. <laughs> um, but like I predicted, I didn't read any of Addie yesterday. So today, yeah, it's Wednesday. Um, it's a bit after two. I think I'm gonna go for a walk. I realized I never mentioned this, but last week I started listening to the audiobook for One Day in December by Josie Silver um, during my walks, and this is a reread for me. I listened to the audiobook last year for the first time, and I absolutely love this book. Like, does it have problems? Yes, <laughs> it definitely does, but for some reason I find it just, well, especially the audiobook is such it, I find it just like so cozy and I don't know there's just something about it that I love it so much um, so I think it's something that I want to reread every year. It's not really like a Christmas book even though it's called One Day in December. Like it definitely has Christmassy vibes but it's not like it's not centered around Christmas if that makes sense but I still want to read it I think every year around this time because I don't know I just really love it and I'm almost done I think I have two hours left so I'm gonna listen to that during my walk and the part I read yesterday was really sad. <laughs> um, this book makes you feel a lot of things um, but yeah so I'm really really enjoying my reread of that so I will be listening to that on my walk and then um, I will hopefully be reading a lot of Addie today but we'll see I guess how that goes but my anxiety has been pretty bad lately if I'm being honest it's mostly because of school like I have two weeks and a bit left of my semester and just I'm feeling very overwhelmed as I'm sure many students are right now so you know it's nothing different but I'm just yeah I'm feeling really anxious so I'm taking today to just rest especially after yesterday it was really tiring um, and then hopefully do work <laughs> this weekend or something so I'm gonna go do that and I will update again either tonight or tomorrow or something. I don't really have anything else to say, I don't think. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I didn't have it in myself to go with grace And you're the hero flying around saving face And if I'm dead to you, I'll oh, you hear that voice crack? <laughs> Cursing my name, wishing I stayed To get out my tears, ricochet Gather stones, never knowing what they'll mean. Some to throw, some to make a diamond ring. You know, I didn't want to have to haunt you, but what a ghostly scene. You wear the same jewels that I gave you. I didn't have it in myself to go with grace Cause when I find you <laughs> to tell me I was brave And if I'm dead to you, why are you at the wake? Cursing my name, wishing <laughs> to my tears ricochet and I can go anywhere I want Anywhere I want Just not home And you can lay on my heart Go for blood But you can still miss me In your bones And I still talk to you I didn't have it in myself To go with grace And so the <laughs> We'll sing beneath the waves You had to kill me But it killed you just the same Cursing my name Wishing I stayed Turn into your worst fears And you're tossing out blame Drunk on this pain For another good years Cursing my name Wishing I stayed 
my tears ricochet. You're welcome. <laughs> Friday now and I think this is going to be the last clip for this week's vlog. I don't even remember the last time I updated. I know I showed clips of me watching Moulin Rouge last night but I can't remember the last time I actually sat down and did a reading update. So just a quick little update. First of all I did finish um, One Day in December yesterday. I gave it five stars. I love that book. Um, I know it's not for everyone, I know it has its problems, but there's just something about it that I love and I find it really cozy and yeah, I don't know. I love it. I give it five stars and I think it's something that I want to read every year this time of year. So yeah, I'm happy to have that. I still I need to look at the prompts that that fulfills, but I'm not going to do that now because honestly <laughs> I do not feel like it. Um, I have had a very frustrating and anxiety inducing past 24 hours for lots of reasons. Um, there's just been a lot of drama and I've had to deal with it and I've just been very anxious and like I said frustrated. <laughs> um, everything is fine now like everything is fine but I've just been, I'm just, I'm very anxious, um, so I'm just gonna do that probably in next week's vlog or sometime, I don't know. But I just wanted to mention that I did finish that book yesterday, so that's exciting. And I did read a good chunk of Addie last night, I think I'm almost halfway done now. I am still really, 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 really loving it. The writing is just some of the most beautiful writing I've ever read, and I know a lot of people have said that it's a very slow book, and I definitely agree, but... Like normally I don't love slow books but this one I'm just having such a good time like taking my time and learning about the characters and learning the story like I really don't mind that it's slow I'm really enjoying it and I've heard a lot of people say that they don't like Henry as a character but I really love him I don't know if he gets worse or what the deal with him is but right now I really love him so I hope he doesn't do anything bad because I really like him so yeah I'm still loving that I mean I'm ready to cry for the end but I'll definitely finish that in next week's vlog um, but yeah so I just wanted to update on that um, and then in terms of some 
personal updates, I guess, <laughs> besides the drama that was going on. Um, well, like I said, like today I've just been very anxious and like I feel like I've just been on the verge of tears all day, well, ever since last night. Um, also, I got my period today, so that didn't help anything. But then I got a package in the mail from Amazon and I didn't order anything from Amazon. And I was wondering if maybe it was like a Christmas present from someone, but I was in such a bad mood and I was like, if this is a gift from someone, like, I really want to open it now. I think it could help my mood. And it definitely did. So I got The Art of Saving the World by Corinne Doivy, Doivies. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, and I definitely was not expecting this. I got this from Sarah from String Bean Books. And like I literally almost burst into tears because I was just so grateful to receive this and look at this cover it's so beautiful I love it so much and I'm so excited to read this I think this like literally just came out and all I know is that it's about clones and I'm pretty sure the main character is Ace so like that's all I need to hear like I'm so excited to read this so <laughs> thank you so much Sarah like you don't understand how much this means to me because it's been a really, really, well, it's been a rough year, obviously, but this past week I've had a really hard time and especially the past 24 hours, like, just a lot has happened and I've just been very anxious and this just made me really happy. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get emotional, but this made me really happy just to know that, like, someone was thinking of me um, and yeah, so thank you. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna cry. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. But in other news, um, I did also get a new phone today. So here she is. I got the iPhone XR. Um, I know it's not like the newest iPhone or anything, but I had the first generation iPhone SE before this, which is basically like the iPhone 5. So this one is a huge step up. Like my other phone was like this big compared to this phone and if you guys don't know I make the majority of my thumbnails on my phone like I usually what I do here's a little insight <laughs> usually what I do is I make most of it on my phone and then just for text I use Canva or like sometimes I add a few little things also from Canva because I like the fonts that Canva, Canva has. I outline myself on my phone and doing that on my other phone which was so small was so hard and so now I have this and um, I mean that's not the only reason I got a new phone. I really needed one but it's gonna be so nice to edit thumbnails on this and not you know struggle so much. So yeah I'm just really and I got this case I'm not <laughs> obviously I'm not sponsored but I don't know how well you can see let me see if I can try to focus this. Um, but I got my case from Pella. Um, if you guys don't know, can you see that at all? You can kind of see it. I'm such a beauty guru. But this is the case I have. It's basically like there's an eye in the middle. There's also like constellations and stuff. It's really, really pretty. But if you guys don't know Pella, um, my old phone case was also from Pella, but they make their phone cases like completely from compostable materials. So the phone case, when you're done using it, you can just put it in the compost. It's not made out of plastic or anything. So I think that's really cool, obviously. And they're not too expensive, which is great. So I would highly recommend if you guys don't have a Pella case <laughs> to get one because, you know, you gotta save the environment. Um, and also they're so pretty and yeah. So anyways, I'm really happy with this and <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, that was such a representation of what my life has been like lately. Um, anyways, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I don't know how interesting this vlog is going to be. I feel like I just always ramble a lot and then I go to edit it and I'm like, why did you talk so much? So hopefully this vlog was interesting at all um, and I hope you guys liked it. Hopefully next week will be interesting also. I mean, I can foresee that I'm going to be stressed next week because finals are coming up and love that. Um, okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch the whole thing, leave a, leave a CD emoji. I don't know, because it has to do with music. I don't know. Leave a CD emoji if you watch the whole thing. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Bye.